the query letter, the, how to write the grabber query letter. There are three things you have to put in your query letter. The hook, the mini synopsis, and a brief biography of the author. Now, if you have these publishing credits, you will have something to put in the bio uh, biography of the author. Also, if you've won any prizes, awards for your fiction or nonfiction in some of your clubs or some of your writing conferences, that you, do, you put that in um, because it's better than not having it, right? Um, okay, the most important thing about writing this grabber uh, query letter is it has to be brief. We agents get three page query letters with no indentations, so no white space, so you can take a breather. And we don't want to read more than a page. Nobody does. A press release has to be all on one page because nobody reads the second page, all right? One, what does your main character want? Two, what will she or he do to get it? Three, what stands in his or her way? Four, if she or he gets the goal, how are they changed? If they don't succeed, how does that change? It's called the character arc. Your main character, you must throw rocks at your main character. You must punish your main character. No getting away with nothing. They Don't kill them because you want a two book contract, right? Because you're gonna carry on that character, is you have to put them in jeopardy and then they have to get out of it. It's, it's the, the basis of every novel ever written. It's the, the hero's journey. So you, ha you know, don't have just a nice person. Um, already, the lady who just talked, you know, that this, this granny's gonna get in a lot of trouble by um, going AWOL. What does he want? What will he do to get it? What stands in his way? If he gets his goal, how is he changed? And if he doesn't get his goal, how is he changed? Because you have to change. Somebody has to change or it's not interesting to the reader. And if you have been published before, I would not put down a self-published book. I really wouldn't, unless you've sold over 100,000 copies. Then you would say, I've sold 100,000 copies of this self-published book. But I'm looking for uh, a traditional publisher now. Okay. So what if you haven't been published and you have nothing like that to put in your biography? You just say, this is my first novel, that's all. You okay. can say, I, you know, I've studied the Iowa <laughs> conference or I've gone to, um, what is it, Squaw Valley, you know, if you anything. Mention the you know, com conferences or? Yeah, yeah, you can like say that. that. And or that the, you've or gotten. The, or the person you study with. Maybe. Yeah, something like that. Uh, you know, just tell a little bit about yourself. Um, make it personal to that agent. You know, I met you at the, at the 805 Writers Conference. You made my, laugh my head off. You know, something like that. Isn't it really flattered? You check out that agent's website or mm -hmm. these guides, like the Jeff Herman guide they put out every year. I'm in there. Okay. Find out what they want and mm -hmm. how they want it presented. Okay. Because um, I ask, in my, in my website, I ask for the query letter and the first three pages of the first chapter because I mm -hmm. want to see if they know how to write. Make sure you have studied that agent. Say you're going to, go, you're going to send you know, multiple submission of this query letter to three or four agents. Be sure to change the name. Because <laughs> I, I do get the name. And no, none of this to whom it may concern because that puts us off. It really puts us off. And spelling the name wrong or spelling it three different ways tells you this person is his own worst enemy. So, so make sure you copy edit and have somebody else copy edit it because they have fresh eyes and they will see mistakes that you missed. So you want to go to Query Letters Galley Cat. Here it is. Literary agent query letters that worked. Galley Cat. G-A-L-L-E-Y-C-A-T. And wow, will you find a lot of good stuff on there. There are two books I want to tell you about before I get started. Um, Query Letters That Worked. I got it on Amazon by Angela Hoy, H-O-Y. And this is the granddaddy of all, because this is an agent, Lisa 
Collier's father was an agent and then Lisa took over. She wrote how to write irresistible query letters. 